I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. Twenty twenty two BMW M five fifty I with launch control. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Front end jumped. Horsepower and torque. Five hundred and twenty three horsepower, five hundred and fifty three pound feet of torque from a twin turbo four point four liter V eight. Gonna just floor it. That was. That was a good the, downshift. How, the automatic transmission shifted that up so quickly and sent it like... Yeah, ZF8 e speed. Even if they tricked me with how fast the gauge cluster went, I fell for it and I really enjoyed it. That was really good. And this is even the exact same engine as in the Land Rover Range Rover that we just reviewed with the exact same horsepower figures. Is this the same engine as the M5? It kind of is. Uh, this is just basically a detuned version of it. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of all right with this. Dude, so am I. Because, like, some of the M5s, I was kind of like, eh, some of the M5s are really like, like the CS, but, like, overall, like, this is really fast. Yeah, like, this is a uh, really sweet. Sleeper of the year. Okay, and then into Cliche Corner. Man, this just, this feels like a car that aligns perfectly with the way I drive and how I want to control it. You can tell that it's, like, Less crazy than an M5, but it's still good. Yeah, and like it's not even like that much less crazy than an M5. Well, I mean, it probably I think it is. is. I, I really think it is. Like the difference. Maybe because I haven't been one in a while, but yeah. like this is this is really good. This is above good normal people car. Yeah. So this is comparable to like an E53 for Mercedes, and I would. I'm just gonna spoil it right now. I would take this over a comparable E53. But I feel like an E63, you have to make the jump to. This, I feel like you don't really have to make the jump to the M5. The M50Is are better than the fake AMG 53s. 100%. This is a really good car. And I've been begging BMW for one of these on the press fleet for like five years. So thank you for finally putting one on so that I can actually make this a review of a car that I expected to be good. And it is good. So we do have a little bit of pumped in audio in Sport Plus. Yeah, which BMW makes pretty good pumped in audio at this point. I'm all right with it. Like I had it in comfort and I was like, oh, I don't hear that little vroom, vroom that I really like. And then uh, how does it sound from the outside? Let's take a listen. You can hear little crackles and pops as well, like at low volumes. Let's see, let's or, see. Or sorry, low speeds. Too much gas. No. Nope, not doing it at all. Go higher. Oh, oh, we have a little backfire. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sometimes very unpredictable. I think you're too high of a gear right now, but um, yeah, overall it sounds pretty good. It's not annoying in any way. Like no, sometimes no. you see some M Sports that drive by your ho my house, and it was always like, like all right, bro, chill. <laughs> Those were fun uh, at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, this is nice. I think you can be a good neighbor with this car. I think so too, because this doesn't have that uh, titanium exhaust that we had on the M5 competition yeah, that we had. Holy yeah. crap! That was so loud. That was the first time I ever felt bad for starting my car in my neighborhood. <laughs> And then looks compared to an M5, like I feel like this almost looks too similar to an M5. I mean, yeah, like besides in, in missing the, best the way badge, possible, yeah, 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 yeah. Like M5 people should be upset that this looks this good. The <laughs> the worst part is you'd probably have to explain to people, like if you got this over an M5, like explain to them why this looks so much like an M5. Yeah, I think uh, debadging this would be the best move you can do, and then you don't have to explain anything, and you know you're in a really good car already that is kind of a cheater M5 anyways. Yeah, and then people will be able to, people who know will be able to know from the exhaust tips. Yes. Because they're not M5 exhaust tips. I no. think they still look pretty good here. Yeah, I like that they added the divider in the middle rather than just like a huge opening that they've been doing on the M50i's M Sport models. Yeah, we don't have yellow lights on here. Not like not the that, CS. Not that the CS really has that in yellow Europe. lights anyways in Canada. No. Okay, we got the cool uh, something anniversary badge up the front and everywhere. Yes, so we have the 50th anniversary badges, uh, which this is an M performance model, which means you have to spend $300 to get those badges, which BMW tells you that this is not a real M because if you've got a real M or like an M5, Five, that would be a zero dollar option and then as for the wheels i usually am not excited about many wheels like a lot of them are kind of like boring but i really like the way these look they look like almost like flowers yeah it's almost like a fat five spoke with individual spokes we can call that a five pedal like pedals on a <laughs> yeah, flower pedals pedals yeah. pedal with pedals. a t 
Petal. Not with a D. Petal. That, that's under your right foot. <laughs> it's hard to turn vibrate off from cars. Yeah. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for a 5 Series? The Sport Contact 6. And now is the time to be thinking about winter tires. So the recommended winter tire would be the Conti Winter Contact TS830P. Yes. Get ready for winter. Get your winter tires lined up. And... Uh, Maybe only buy Continental winter tires. That would be nice. Do, do us a solid. Support our sponsors. Uh, this, but this seriously, now, now is the time to be looking at winter tires. Get get ready. Yes. And then if you drove this in winter, it is X-Drive. Yeah, so it's all-wheel drive. Uh, it is rear bias, but you'll be totally fine in the winter. Yeah, you'll actually have a lot of fun in the winter because you'll be able to do cool donuts and stuff because the BMW all-wheel drive system is really amazing. But you can't disconnect it and go only rear-wheel drive like an M5, so that might be a reason to pony up the tens and tens and tens of thousands more <laughs> right. to get the M5 over the 50i. You do at least have that M Sport uh, differential in this, but yeah, it's it's totally different than the M5. And then other looks, taillights are still cool, just like the normal 5 Series. We got a uh, nice paint. Yeah, we've got individual paint, which is frozen deep gray metallic for $4,900. And if you ever forget what it is, it says under the hood. Yeah, so people know that you got that option from the factory. Yeah, overall, like, looks are really really good i think it looks really good this is a really good spec especially with this uh whitish interior as well should i i won't photoshop the thumbnail with a huge grill to scare everyone <laughs> or maybe i will yeah, I'll, put maybe, the, I'll, I put the, I'll put the three stripes on the grill too like every other fake m <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and by the way if you haven't noticed we have upgraded our camera system to the same stuff they used to film star wars the matrix jurassic park that's why our footage now looks so awesome. Incredible. We spent so much money. We're bankrupt now from upgrading our cameras. Let us know what you think of the new picture quality of this video. And subscribe if you like it. And if you don't like it, let us know. Don't unsubscribe. We'll fix it. No, we're just trying something different for this video for fun. Hey. Time for the straight pipes car drive switcheroonie. Just going to turn on my massage seat. Be very comfortable for this launch. Massage my neck, please. <laughs> Dude, that front end, I swear, it feels like it lifts every time. Hey, BMWs, man. Wow. Once you build that boost, like, just sit there for a couple seconds, you're, you're off. I like this. This is good. So this has the adaptive M Sport suspension. It is really good. It is... You, Yuri and I have been driving in Sport Plus and not even noticing that we're in Sport Plus, which actually says a lot about the entire car in a good way. Haven't there been uh, M5s that you thought were too stiff? Yeah, and the steering and stuff like that. Even the steering, I feel like, is better than an M5 in this. Like, it's, everything about this is better. It's super light. Yeah, it's, it's just better for a road car. But even though this isn't as crazy as an M5 on paper, it still feels like it's very similar. Even the 0 to 60 time is, like, low 3 seconds, like, mid 3 seconds. It's so quick. It's just you floor it at any time you put it into uh, sport shifting and that is so fast for an automatic they definitely trick you with the gauge cluster moving faster to make you think everything's going quicker yeah i like it good job bmw you guys <laughs> and then in terms of drive modes we've got sport sport plus individual comfort and eco pro pretty much all the usual stuff you've been getting from this generation of bmw interior dude this is the sweet spot it's the best the last of the good stuff even like the m3 i think is going to like the new bad style that the i4 has everything is going to that one big uh tablet yeah, style talk, thing. talk to your car and all that junk uh, all these uh hard buttons for one two three four seven are all gone bmw you guys you guys rip'd yourselves yeah and part of that sweet spot is all of these hard buttons except we do have this nice digital display for our climate down here which is actually very functional yeah not my favorite but it works and then uh we got the command center the rotary dial we can touch the screen we got apple carplay android auto we got sirius xm we can rewind and if you'd like a couple free months hit up siriusxm.ca.com slash the straight pipes What's your favorite station these days, Jacob? I'm still on, uh, actually, you know what? I've been switching to 46 lately, the heat. Yeah, did, did my telling you to go to Utopia help or no? No, I listened to that for a bit, but I've now switched. I'm like, I'm trying to enjoy the last bit of summer. Uh, it's like switching between Utopia and 46 because it's called the heat, you know. Summer ended for me when the Beach Boys channel ended. Ah, uh, damn, that's, that's been and, a while. And then I went right to Utopia clubbing season. <laughs> clubbing season. <laughs> You don't bring your jacket to the club because then you got nowhere to put it, but then you got to wait outside because it's cold. Well, you got a coat check. Yeah, but the line to coat check is so long too. Yeah, and then you probably won't get your coat back. Exa the, exactly, yeah, bro. Yeah, whatever. You just you buy coats to leave at coat check and just expecting to never I've get them back. I never thought about doing that. <laughs> you go, go to Walmart before clubbing. 
<laughs> get some twenty dollar jacket. That also, also, jacket. Also, I haven't clubbed in Toronto in like a decade. <laughs> Me so neither. I'm just thinking back to the good old days. Yeah, exactly. Yo, Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> Yo, shout out if you remember Piccadilly Circus in Toronto. We just aged ourselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We were like, that's like fourteen clubs ago. <laughs> And our steering wheel, same old steering wheel, really good BMW stuff. We do have lane centering, lane keep assist. It is really good. I don't think it's quite as good as the new stuff from like the X3s and the things that are big, getting like big refreshes now or yeah, updates. Yeah, we, we got the thing that watches your eyes. We got the traffic jam assist. Like, you know, it's good. And driving with the steering wheel into cliche corner in sport. Wait, how individual. do you drive without the steering wheel? I mean, I don't want to show you on camera, but you can do it. Okay, so uh, there is definitely quite a bit of body roll compared to an actual M5, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, it still gets through no problem. And then there is oversteer on exit. This is a great car to drive through here. It's like, it's just part of the experience of I, having like a normal road car. Like body roll is cool. Yeah, And I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Like power wise, suspension wise, I think this is actually better than an you M5. Know, you know what you're missing out on? What's is uh, when I had the M5 CS, a guy with an M5 competition rolled up next to me and then we, we went, you're missing that. You know what you're gonna be, you're gonna lose. Yeah, but you won't lose to many people. But the M5 guys aren't gonna even look at you. You're gonna be like, hey, nice five series. It's true. Like, I don't even, I don't even know you. There is definitely something to be said about owning an M5, like a real M car, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But if you're that type of person that doesn't care and you don't need that in your ego, yeah, this yeah. is great. Exactly, 100%. That is why, that's where this is the sweet spot. And if you wanna sweet spot your way into an M550i, tsp.truecar.com discount or price offer can many of you have bought BMWs through our link you can check the price of one of these compared to an M5 and decide if you want to be the M5 guy or if you're just happy as the 550i guy because this is a pretty hefty discount for this versus an M5 or gal yes and the wood trim in this interior is very nice there's a lot of gloss black which does kind of suck but this is again kind of a rich people car for sure who like gloss black yeah probably so then a couple other things we have to mention visors three two one Oh, fail fail cup holders you know good enough good enough they pass front seats are super comfortable very comfortable incredibly comfortable and you can adjust the side bolstering as well yo rate the comfort of getting into this to the m5 cs uh significantly more comfortable <laughs> to the point that i wouldn't even want to get into the cs back seats tons of room right yeah i'm good back there and then up front we do have these really nice soft headrests yeah okay so nice trunk rooms pretty good not like the most amazing but like pretty pretty good we can drop the seats from back there so there's no issues there yeah that's it. This car is great. Just buy one if you want one. And if you're thinking about an E53, my recommendation is this. If you're thinking about an M5, my recommendation is also this. Don't sweat it if you have to get this instead of an M5. But let's find out for real how much does it cost. Let's get to the price. This one starts at $89,990. Canadian. And this one's optioned out to $110,740. All right, not really a deal there, but how much was the actual M5 comp? The one that we drove, the last one was $150,000. And I guess the CS was even more than that. Yeah, probably closer to like 200 if I recall. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And like, obviously just don't get the frozen gray paint or whatever for $5,000. You can get this closer to the base price, but you also do get peasant blockers with a package back here, which oh, yeah, you kind of have to get. Rear, rear shade too. Yeah, and like you, you can control that with a button right here. I mean, you kind of do have to go up the options list and get heated and cooled seats and whatever, but... I guess, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no. It's like if you're striving for an M5, but all you can afford is this, cool. A hundred grand for this, great, I, I would say. If you can keep it at a hundred grand. Let us know. Leave a comment below, M5, or save the money and get the 550i. And let us know how much you enjoyed these cameras for this video. Yes. Steven Spielberg in the house. Whoever did The Hobbit at 48, that's us right now. Just ruining car reviews for everyone at 60. <laughs> Yo, Marquez, what do you think of our video? Oh, Marquez I know, is gonna lose it. He's I, like, know, no, I know you hate 24. This is double what it should be because 30 is what it should be according to Marquez. <laughs>